day, another unboxing. In front of you right now, let me move this a little bit closer for you here. Cole D. Walker, Ghost Recon 1-4 scale statue by, here it is, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. This is from Pure Arts. Uh, Pure Arts has been working closely with us as a company. They have fantastic new products. A lot of them are video game based, but some of them they're they're branching out, guys. These are these are the up and comers. Here is uh, where is it? PureArts.com. They had their little a virtual con this year. They dropped a couple of new Terminator pieces and. Um, Cyberpunk is their one four scale coming fantastic piece um, They're doing the Assassin's Creed line one four scale and uh, They're doing a fantastic job here in front of you one four scale um, The Ghost Recon Cole D Walker they sent it to me Because um, I have a completely new pure arch display little area in the showroom and I wanted to show off this statue they have already shot off the Balak, Balak, Balak. I don't know. I can't pronounce half of this stuff. But still, it was the Assassin's Creed one, the Egyptian one. That one's absolutely beautiful. Actually, I didn't show it off. Uh, George at MCE got it, the prototype, and it was fantastic, and he loved it. So I'm getting the Ezio one coming, and I got, um, I already have Watch Dogs 2, double statue. Uh, what am I talking about? I'm talking too much. All right, let's All right, I'm doing this video in portions, okay? Because it's a lot of info. So they have, okay, machine gun. Beautiful piece. Uh, it is not, it is not polystone. It's a plastic, but it's a very hard plastic. It's very, very well painted. Um, it's got some weight to it, so it's very cool. I don't know what kind of, you know, kind of submachine gun this is, okay? I'm not gonna, not a gun expert, but I'm just telling you, it's very cool. It fits in perfect. Um, then he's got a revolver. I don't know, the, the chamber moves pretty cool. God, please kick my ass if it's uh, not a chamber. But anyways, here's a revolver. Doesn't cock or anything, but you can probably put it in his hand. Um, and then he's got a sidearm right here that you can take off and put back in. That's cool. Uh, so the one, the one, so let's, let's answer some questions first. This knife does not come out, okay? This is all textured. There is no, he comes in one piece. I think his, ta his dog tag is somewhere in here. Kind of take it out. You could probably take it out for sure. I got him play with it and kind of come out here. Um, kind of tangled around him a little bit, but his dog tag does move around. This is a solid piece. Uh, these hands don't come out. However, this hand here is very interesting because it's almost like an action figure. It's, it has a rubbery feel for it. And I'm sh that's sure, I'm sure that's where to put the revolver in. Kind of see, so yeah. So you don't, so you don't snap it. Well, God forbid I snap this, but, but yeah, you can kind of. You know what I'm saying I'm not gonna mess with it too much, but you can put the sidearm on his hand. Um, there's no switch outs or anything. This is all texture. The paint job fantastic. The texture is beautiful. Um, these propellers here are a plastic. Let's take it off. They're a plastic, but man, the paint job is fantastic. Looks like steel. Looks like a crash chopper, just the way it's supposed to look. It's like the side of a, this is metal, this is kind of a harder steel too, but this is, this is all polystone. This is a, another PVC kind of material. The propeller base is uh, plastic as well, but great paint job on that one. Fantastic. You can see his eyes are really painted well too, his mask. If I told you, yeah, I played this game and I know this character, I'd be lying to you. I don't know. Okay. The tattoo here is fantastic as well. You can tell it's kind of like... Kind of not painted on, but stenciled on or something like that. But okay, so what I think I know about this statue is too. Is let's let's take this off for you. Let's take him off. He's pegged in really well. Oh, never mind there. 
Let me take success. One Four bloody tags here, and I'm sure you can read them. Yes, you can. Maxwell Stewart, John Smith. It's got a bunch of names on here, guys. So yeah, uh, not much of a design flaw. It's not a break. It's not a, you know, hey, I'm not gonna get it because I don't like the tags. The tags are fantastic. They are plastic. Uh, the ring around it is kind of a metal. Um, they just got stuck down here because there's a couple of them, and you, you just have to be patient. Anything to do with statues, buying them, getting them, displaying them, <laughs> it's all about patience in this game, okay? The higher the, uh, the higher quality stuff is, man, the, just the longer it takes, and just be very patient with it. Uh, like I said, he's a solid piece, so you can't take off his head and just use it around. So, let me put this guy down. I mean, like I said, th these pouches don't open or anything. Great, solid, solid, solid. This is all PVC. Uh, pretty good, because if it was something else, see how cool that is? It's kind of like a ribbon. That's really cool. If it wasn't, uh, if it was polystone, it's a nightmare. You'll be snapping these in half, and there'll be half, half of these whenever we make it. So look at his eyes. Let's see if we can get this. I don't even know if I'm filming it right. But there you go. Very cool. Well painted. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let me put this guy down and work on the Here's base. The reason why I wanted to see the base, okay? These fire, these little, these little um, clear resin pieces of fire, they uh, they light up. They will light up, and here's your battery pack. Uh, there it is. I'm not going to put batteries in it because I don't, you know, if I sell it, I don't want people to think I use their statue or anything. This is a display, but if they want it, they can get it. So the fire is awesome, too. This is all just, this isn't so heavy, but it uh, doesn't have to be. Beautiful. You know, typical rock base. <laughs> Most statues are on some kind of rubble. You know, it's just... I guess it's the action of it all, you know. Here's something here too. I wonder what this is. Kind of like looks like a. I don't know what that is. Never mind. But anyways, yep, pretty solid piece. I'm gonna put them one more time together. Give you a little 360, and there you have it. Pure Arts Ghost Recon.